I've always done art since I was seven, and I've always worked with all different types of artists, a blacksmith, foundry, woodworkers, mural painters, and other glass artists. Since I've done building styles of all different mediums, I can apply some of that knowledge to there, and it allows me to get to that style that I want. Because there's a lot of people who would say, oh, you can't do that style in glass. That can't be done. I'm like, well, I'm going to figure it out. Mm, no, we can do it. You just got to think outside the box. I started working with stained glass in like 2018. I needed a job, went in and got a job. Um, I was growing, working there and I started to hit a ceiling and I just started pursuing more and more like doing different art styles, learning how to do the traditional paints. So that's what I've been doing for a while now. Cutting glass takes a lot of finesse is what I say. Patience and finesse. Some people want to go in, they push so hard and they'll prematurely break the glass because you're putting too much pressure. Sometimes you just got to be, you just got to be gentle. So they're in the process of building. It's always fun to put all the pieces together because you finally get to start seeing the, um, the sketch or the drawing that you did start to become the reality. When I design things, I'd like to have a certain level of like simplicity to it but also a very complex build to it. And that's kind of one of my styles that I lean more to. I would say some of the challenges about building glass is sometimes finding the colors you want. I've done a few pieces where I wanted a certain color. It's sometimes really hard to get this dead set color you want. And like, there's sometimes I'll have to compromise or I have to find that color that's just in that spectrum. And so sometimes you'll like get a big sheet of glass and it'll have this beautiful swirl of color in one part of it. You're like, I had to cut dead center in this piece of glass in order to get this one little piece. One of the best parts is once I finally get them all put together, let it up, soldered, and you have to stand it up for that first time, you can actually see the light come through and that's such a great feeling. And then the piece can come to life. The most stressful part is transporting it. As long as you're being careful and delicate, it mainly goes pretty well. If you don't keep pushing yourself, there's no point. You have to keep pushing that limit. Always keep learning, always keep learning different mediums. There's always a different way to build. There's always a different way to sculpt. There's always a different way. And it doesn't mean one way is right, one way is wrong. There's just different techniques, and the more information you have, it's always interesting how the parallels of the different mediums work. That's how you become a better artisan, a better maker, a better creator, is to always be pushing your limits, always. My name is Vincent Zato. I'm a multi-skilled artisan who enjoys pushing my boundaries in glassworks.